गुड इवनिंग अस्सलाम वालेकुम आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल बाय द ग्रेस ऑफ अल्लाह आई एम डूइंग बेटर आल्सो आई हैव कम हियर फॉर यू विद ए स्पेशल पर्पस दैट इज आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट समथिंग व्हिच इज वेरी मच कॉमन एंड सिंपल टू यू ऑल माय डियर व्यूअर्स टुडे I have come here to talk about the parts of the sentences. You know it very well that uh, there are many parts of a sentence when all the parts are equally important to us. So uh, now I am going to discuss all the parts, how we can identify them and how we can use them in a sentence and how all the parts make a sentence. Okay, look at it, please. The parts of the sentence. The parts of the sentence. Yes, it is. Now look at it, please. I have. a pen she has made a plan which is very important important now we can think about it and we can identify the parts of the sentences at first i am going to ask you about uh, the term how we can build a building if we want to build a building we need a lot of things the first one is that we have to create the foundation very strong but how can we create the foundation we need sand brick rod cement and uh, finally manpower which is very much important in this way a sentence has many kind of parts and all the parts are equally important and all the parts create a sentence now look at it please i it's a word it is pronoun have har a adjective pen noun so my dear viewers now look at it that it's a sentence it's a sentence but it has four parts one two three and four so now it's a simple sentence uh, and this sentence is formed with four parts but actually if we write a huge sentence uh, then we can see that uh, a sentence has different parts and according to that parts according to the action of the parts we name those words and all the words are called parts of speech look at it she pronoun has auxiliary verb made principal verb a adjective plan noun which conjunction is verb very adverb important adjective so now we can easily find that all these parts have created this sentence very nicely and successfully so my dear viewers now you can easily understand about it that many words form a sentence nicely and successfully if they were formulated in a systematic way so now we can easily said that 
a sentence has different parts of speech all the parts i mean all the words are equally important to form a sentence successfully and we have to know what is the function of each word in a sentence and we know how many kind of words are named according to the action and meaning of the words in a sentence at first i want to come here she i have not mentioned the name of the person but i have uh, mentioned the word she she represents a person she represents a person so it is pronoun because it has been used for noun and you know it very well that a noun is a word which is used for the name of anything any place or any person but when a word will be used for noun we call it pronoun and here she is a pronoun because it indicates a person but i have not mentioned the name of the person okay nice has met verb you know what is verb verb means action the word which completes the action in a sentence is called verb am i right so in this way we can easily say that has met here has met is a verb here has met is a verb and uh, i have two kind of verbs here the first one is principal verb met and the second one is has auxiliary verb why the principal verb indicates the main action of the verb which completes the action being used with the subject but the auxiliary verb uh, cannot express the meaning but the auxiliary verb helps the principal verb to complete the action of that sentence according to the tense and according to the subject number and person in this way and the second one uh, and the next one is a here a indicates the number here a indicates the number so it is adjective so it is adjective why an adjective is a word which indicates the number the quality the quantity or condition of noun or pronoun in a sentence so in this case it is adjective plan it is the name plan it is the name it is a naming word it is a naming word so now if we uh, analyze this sentence this part of this sentence then we can say that subject verb object so it is a simple sentence but uh, after using this word which here which has connected two words two sentences into one and it has connected the first sentence into second one and both of the clauses are connected with this relative pronoun or conjunction which now it is very interesting to think that here which is used as the subject of the second clause also and it has connected two clauses into one and has made a complex sentence so now which here which is used as subject of the second clause and conjunction of this sentence because it has connected two clauses into one you know it very well that when two words or two clauses or two sentences which be connected with a word we call that word conjunction so now it is clear to all of us that a conjunction is a word which connects a conjunction is a word which connects two words two phrases two clauses into one and make a successful sentence am i right okay thank you all and the next one is is here is is a verb in this sentence though it is be verb or linking verb uh, but in this sentence it is used as the main verb it performs the action of this clause also so it is called verb because verb is a word which completes the action in a sentence and the next one is very very so uh, important how how important very important so it is adverb because you know an adverb is a word which qualifies the quality of adjective the ad adverb is a word which qualifies the quality of 
adjective in a sentence. So, in this sense, uh, very is adverb important. What? That indicates the quality. That indicates the quality of that plan. That indicates the quality of that plan. What kind of plan? Important. So, important here is adjective. Here, important is adjective. So, now, uh, my dear viewers, now you can easily understand uh, about the action of the parts of a sentence and uh, about the function of every part of that sentence. We are going to the next. So, in this way, uh, we can easily identify the parts of speech and the name and the we can know the function and activities of the words in a sentence. Rafik wants Rafik wants a pen to write a poem and the poem will be related the poem will be related to nature the poem will be related to nature yes now my dear viewers i have written a sentence uh, which is a complex a compound sentence uh, by using the conjunction and so uh, at first i have to think about the conjunction now we can easily understand that this word and conjunction it has connected two sentences into one this word conjunction has connected two sentences into one it is the function of that word and so it is called conjunction the first one is rofik it is noun why rofik is the name of a person rofik is the name of a person so you know it very well that the word which indicates the name of a person a place a thing or anything we call it noun that means noun is a naming word noun is a naming word so my dear viewers you can easily understand about the noun because it always indicates the name of any person thing or place so rupi is a noun wants verb wants verb so uh, what is verb verb means action in this sentence rupi wants what is the function of that word it completes the action in this clause so wants here is a verb wants here is a verb and then a how many pen does rupi want only one a pen it is adjective because it indicates the number it indicates the number of pen so it is called adjective the next one is noun why pen pen can you see it yes of course it is a pen so what is the business of a pen uh, the pen helps you to write something the pen is used the pencil is used to write something so pen is the name of an instrument so it is also noun it is also noun and the next one is to yes to write to indicates the purpose of anything so it is preposition because uh, it has taken place before the word right and it has created infinitive infinitive so here to is a, a preposition because uh, this 
word two has taken place before this word and uh, make relation with the pen. A pen. What is the function of a pen? It is used to write. So the word write and pen has been used by the relation of the word two. So two is a preposition here. It has taken place before the word write and it has connected the action of the pen and the next one poem it is noun so a, a adjective it indicates the number so it is adjective poem what that is poem poem story drama all are called noun because they name they name an event or action and the next one is and you know it is conjunction because it has connected two words into one and the next word is the it is adjective you know the also indicates the poem so uh, you know it very well a and the are called articles but actually they are used as adjective in a sentence am i right okay uh, poem it is noun will Modal auxiliary, modal auxiliary, be related, verb phrase, to preposition, nature, to preposition, nature, noun. So, my dear viewers, now you can easily understand that all the words in a sentence has different objectives and all the words are important to form a complete and successful sentence easily so uh, now i can easily understand that uh, if you have the simple idea about the action and uses of the words in a sentence it will help you to create new sentence by your own way and that will be very much helpful to you my dear viewers, now I am going to the next sentence. All the sentences are formed according to the function of the words in a sentence and all the words are equally important. It is very important to know uh, about the uh, sentence and the parts of the sentence because all the things are uh, very important to form a successful sentence. Look at it please. Alas, he has lost a bag of clothes. Who is who is he has who is he alas he has lost a bag of clothes who is he has got as gift from his mother. Now, my dear viewers, look at this sentence. It is a sentence, but uh, we have different parts in this sentence. All the words and all the parts uh, have made this sentence successfully. The first one is alas. Now, my dear viewers, you can easily understand that uh, alas indicates the sudden shock. Alas indicates the sudden shock. Why? Uh, it is related to the loss of the bag. So, an interjection is a word. An interjection is a word which indicates the suddenness, the passion, the feelings, 
and sudden emotion of something it indicates the sorrows and sufferings also so now my dear viewers you can easily think that uh, alas is an interjection it is an interjection word it indicates the exclamation it indicates the exclamation of that sentence and the next one is uh, he he here indicates a person so it is pronoun it is interjection he here he is used as the subject of the sentence and uh, he is used for noun so it is pronoun has it is auxiliary verb yes lost it is principal verb so both of them has finished the action in this clause so that is called verb a adjective back noun of preposition process noun which conjunction he pronoun has auxiliary verb got principal verb as conjunction gift noun from preposition his pronominal adjective mother noun yes so now my dear viewers we can easily understand that we need all the words equally and all the words are important to make a successful sentence so now we can easily uh, think about the parts of the sentence the parts of the sentence a sentence is a body a sentence is a body a sentence is a group of words which completes the action in a sentence which completes the action in a sentence and a sentence is a group of words which expresses the feelings emotion passion desire expectation of a person so uh, it is very important to form all the parts of a sentence systematic way or in a nice way or in a regular way or in a clear way which will create a new sentence and that will be a correct sentence okay my dear viewers so now we can easily understand that we have a lot of words in a sentence all the words are equally important and according to the action and meaning of that sentence they are classified and named so we have different kind of parts of speech and we can easily identify them in a sentence so now we can say that the noun back it is the name of a thing noun pronoun it is used he pronoun why it is used for noun pronoun adjective why it indicates the number or quality of anything adjective verb verb why verb completes the action in a sentence so it is called verb preposition pre preposition position that means process it is the name of a thing it is noun preposition takes place before noun or pronoun in a sentence and makes relation with the other words of that words in a sentence so it is preposition okay nice and then comes conjunction why it is connect two words or sentences into one and make a complete sentence so it is called conjunction and the next one is interjection interjection indicates the suddenness the passion emotion or feelings of any person or any event so it is called interjection so now we can easily we can easily understand the function of a word in a sentence and it is very easy and simple for all of us 
the next one is that we can also understand all the sentences if we can have the command over the ideas about the meaning and the position and the activities of a sentence nicely and carefully so my dear students uh, perhaps you can easily understand now about the words and uses of the words in a sentence it will be it will be easy for all of you to identify identify a word to identify a word easily if if you can identify the action and meaning of all the words in a sentence so my dear viewers now you can easily understand all the parts and all the words in a sentence if you can arrange them properly and nicely it will be a successful sentence and uh, if you go through this sentence nicely then you can understand it easily the first one it so it what does it mean it indicates uh, this sentence it indicates this sentence so it is the subject of this sentence and it is uh, used for now i mean it is used for this sentence so it is called subject and in the same way it is pronoun yes <coughs> pronoun we modal auxiliary b verb is adjective for preposition all adjective of preposition you pronoun to preposition identify verb a adjective word noun easily adverb adverb if conjunction you subject and pronoun can modal auxiliary identify verb the adjective action noun and conjunction meaning noun of preposition all adjective the adjective words noun in preposition a adjective sentence noun so my dear viewers it is very uh, easy and simple to identify all the words and according to the function and name and action of these sentences in a word so i would like to mention the names and action of these words in a sentence again the first one preposition uh, sorry the first one pronoun because it uh, is used for noun the second one modal auxiliary b is verb because it indicates the action of a sentence easy how it is easy so it is adjective it is the quality of that sentence for preposition because it has taken place before this word and made relation with all these things yes all adjective of preposition you pronoun why you someone some person but it has not mentioned the name of that person so it is pronoun and of is used before pronoun in this sentence and it has connected it has related the meaning of the other words with you and the next one is to to is preposition here 
uh, it has taken place before this word and uh, it indicates the direction, the action of this word. Okay, identify, identify, that means uh, it indicates the verb, it indicates the action of this sentence. Uh, a, it indicates the number, so it is adjective. Word, it is noun because it is the naming word. Easily, how? It is the way of action. It is the way of action. So it is adverb because uh, an adverb is a word which indicates the manner, the place, the time of action in a sentence. So that is adverb. Okay, nice. If, if is conjunction here because if has connected these two sentences into one and it has made a complex sentence in this way. Okay, nice. Uh, you pronoun. It is used for noun, can modal auxiliary identify verb, the adjective action, that's the name, noun, and conjunction because uh, these two clauses has been connected with that word and. It has connected two clauses into one, so that is conjunction, meaning that is noun of preposition, all adjective, the adjective words, that is name, that is also noun in preposition, a adjective and sentence that is the name so it is also called noun so my dear viewers now you can easily understand about the parts of a sentence whether the parts of a body cannot be uh, thought a body cannot be thought without different parts equally proportionately in the same way you cannot hope to get or to write any sentence without all the words needed to make a sentence nicely. Am I right? So, my dear viewers, thank you all. Thank you very much. And uh, please follow my channel and follow my lectures regularly so that I can work with you and you can be benefited from my channel. And uh, it is very interesting uh, to work in this way for the betterment of our viewers who want to uh, learn English easily and simply. My channel will help you uh, to make you confident to know the simple thing which can make you confident about the simple English and uh, in this way one day you will be active and confident about writing or speaking very nicely. So if you uh, are very much interested to learn English, please follow my channel and uh, if possible, please subscribe it. Thank you all.